Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. Before we move on to any further details, I would really love to thank you all for your enormous love and support. In case you haven't subscribed yet, I mean, what are you waiting for, guys? Hit that subscribe button now. Also, please don't forget to press the bell icon. And also, if you enjoy the content and want to be a part of our inner circle, consider supporting us on Patreon. It's where we share exclusive behind-the-scenes content, early access, and connect with you on a more personal level. Please check the link in the description. Let's start the video now. Amid the release of his memoir, Spare, Prince Harry made a scathing comment about his stepmother, Queen Camilla. Prince Harry's past remarks about his stepmother, Queen Camilla, have resurfaced on TikTok, reigniting discussions and sparking a wave of reactions. In a viral clip from an interview with Anderson Cooper on 60 Minutes, Harry described Camilla with a sharp two-word label, the villain. Reflecting on his father's relationship with Camilla during his marriage to Princess Diana, Harry elaborated, she was the villain. Camilla was the third person in the marriage. She needed to rehabilitate her image. This candid assessment has once again put the spotlight on the complicated dynamics within the royal family. The TikTok video, posted by user Queen Diana Spencer, captures a particularly revealing moment from the interview. When asked whether he and his brother, Prince William, had urged their father not to marry Camilla, Harry affirmed yes, explaining their reasoning. He said, we didn't think it was necessary. We thought it was going to cause more harm than good. The video juxtaposes images of Princess Diana and Camilla in similar settings, both pictured sitting next to the now King Charles, underscoring the emotional and visual parallels that continue to resonate with royal followers. The resurfaced remarks have drawn a strong reaction from fans, many of whom express admiration for Harry's loyalty to his mother. One commentator wrote, Diana is so very proud of Harry. Another added, I wish Diana would have known how Harry would fight for her and carry on her legacy. She taught him well. US Weekly previously reported on the strained relationship between Camilla and Harry, quoting a source who said, Camilla dislikes Harry and doesn't want Charles to get stressed while he's undergoing treatment, so she tries to limit interaction. Despite this, the source noted that Charles remains hopeful about mending his relationship with Harry, though he faces a difficult dilemma. Charles is holding out hope of salvaging their relationship, but is hugely conflicted because Harry has hurt William and Camilla so much, the insider explained. Royal expert and author of The King, the wife of Charles III, Christopher Anderson, also weighed in on the controversy. Anderson told US Weekly that Harry and William have long harbored resentment towards Camilla. They pleaded with their father not to marry her and only grudgingly agreed to go along with the charade if Charles kept his promise to not make her queen. Anderson said, that title would have gone to Diana if Camilla hadn't broken up their parents' marriage. When Charles broke that promise, William and Harry felt betrayed. The resurfacing of Harry's comments on social media highlights the enduring complexities and unresolved tensions within the royal family. As public interest in the personal lives of the royalists persists, these revelations continue to provoke, debate, and draw attention to the intricate web of relationships at the heart of the British monarchy. So what do you think about this news, guys? Write down in the comments what you think and let me know. Until then, guess we'll just have to wait and see if things turn out to be something after all. Also, if you never want to miss any of my sizzling royal updates like this, subscribe and press the bell icon. As simple as that. So until the next time, hasta la vista.